Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to look at this. This is a prism. We're going to talk about light through a prism, images viewed through a prism, and how combining two of these in the very simplest terms possible create the lenses that we work with. What we are after with this piece today is a big picture concept. The concepts that you need to grasp at the optician level. We are talking about what you need to know. Everything that I am about to do, everything that I'm about to show you is expressed and drawn and shown in the simplest terms possible. This is being shown in flat, one-dimensional illustrations for grasping two basic concepts. I will be up front and say that light does not bend. We tend to say that word a lot when in fact it doesn't. What happens is that materials and angles redirect the rays of light, if you will. They don't bend them, they redirect them, but I may slip up and use that word. The math, some of the math, the science, some of the science. We talk about the material that lenses are made from, the effect of thickness, helping you visualize what is all happening in three dimensions. That's covered on the website, it's covered in other videos. Or, and this is so important, it is outside the range of what you need to know to be a competent optician. As I say over and over again on the website, we're not studying to be optical engineers, we're not studying to be physicists, we just need to be a competent optician. And these are two concepts that are critical for understanding. Crazy important prism concept number one. Light will always redirect around the base of the prism. I said I would not use the word bend, and light does not bend, light does not curve, but in your head, it is not a bad thing to think of it in that way. Never let you down, and we'll make a little bit more sense when we put these two prisms together in the next section. Crazy, super important prism concept number two. The image viewed, or the object being viewed, through a prism will always shift towards the apex, apex base. I prism, actual fire hydrant, it will appear, it will shift towards the apex and be seen as being above it. Or let's head over to the bench and allow my training center assistant to give you another view of that. That is a 35 diopter prism held in front of my assistant there. And as you can see, it's a pretty dramatic shift of that image being viewed, the object being viewed, shifted towards the apex of that prism. Let's do one more little whiteboard session where we put two prisms together. All right, so you have crazy important prism concept one and super crazy important prism concept two or something like that. You got it down now foundation of everything that you're going to do throughout your entire time as being an optician. We're going to take those two concepts and we're going to take that one step further. If I take one simple prism, this, and I stack it together with another one, two prisms apex to apex, I create, in the simplest terms possible, a minus lens. If I take two prisms and I put them base to base, I create a plus lens, in the simplest terms possible. It really is this simple.
It really is. You'll see as we start working some of the formulas and you start drawing out questions, it really is this simple. At the same time, it really is so much more, so much further complex than this. Once you get into curvature and lenses and thickness and material and power, again, we're not trying to be optical engineers. We're not trying to be physicists. What you need to know to be a competent optician falls in between these two, far closer to this end of things. Two terms to know when we're talking about that apex to apex minus lens minify and diverge. Now, a minus lens is said to minify something that we look through, look at through a minus lens. Why is that? Because the image, when viewed through a prism is shifted towards the apex. If I'm looking through this lens, the object on this side is going to be pushed towards the apex, compressed, minified, shrunk. Light, we say, bends or redirects around the base. If all of my light is doing this, these rays are diverging. They are going away. And when we learn how to control that by controlling this, that's when we become a competent optician. A plus lens is said to magnify. Why? The image viewed through it shifts towards the apex. It expands it, it opens it, it makes it larger. Light is said to converge. Light is going to bend or redirect around the base. It's going to gather, converge on that one single point, which we're all familiar with because we all were terrible children and started fires with magnifying glasses. So, super crazy basic prism concepts that build the foundation for everything else that you're gonna do during your time as an optician. To keep running with those concepts and learning more about being a great competent optician, head on over to the Optician Works website. If you are watching me on Facebook, please give us a like. Watching me on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and make sure that every lens in your optical life comes from Laramie K. I will see you again next week. All right, so you've got crazy important concept, crazy, <laughs>